I'm going to um, enter a challenge for Some Odd Girl, and the challenge is to color one of the images uh, in pastel. So here is the card base that I'm going to use with the pastel colors of the light gray, light purple, light green, and I'm going to incorporate those colors into the Shy Fairy here. Okay. I'm going to start off with uh, her skin, and I'm going to first use the FS2. And I can tell you I am not a precise color. Again, I just, I don't have a lot of, I've seen the videos and, and all that kind of stuff, but I just kind of do what works for me. So I'm kind of filling in her legs. And then I'm going to put a little shading in with FS3. And just kind of go back in with FS2 then. Okay, now I'm going to head into her arms. Okay, so I'm coloring in again her arms and now going up and just making little circles. And then going back in with some FS3 and just to kind of get some shading down on her shoulders and her elbows and her chest area. And then just to put a little bit underneath her hair, make it a little darker. I like to, like give, to her. give her just a pinch of a nose with that. And then I'm going to go in with FS6 and just kind of give her some light pink. I'll put a little pink on her chest. And going back in with FS2 now, just kind of evening it out. Small little circles. Okay, I can see a little bit that I missed. Okay, so there's her skin. On Shy Fairy, she has what looks to be like these leaves to be the top of her little dress. So I'm using uh, DG1. And again, it's all supposed to be in pastel, so I'm using the lightest, lightest colors that I can. And so I'm just kind of going in over the lines to make that. So again, I'm using this as my paper, and we have some very light purples. So I want to bring that in. So with this, I'm going to use the HB1. Um, and I'm going to do that for her skirt. So on this, I'm just going to fill in everything for her skirt. She's so pretty. Again, I just, since it's a big area, I'm just doing, again, I'm not a real careful colorer with this. So I'm just kind of filling in into the circle motions. So I've got the real pastel light here. And so keeping with that, I'm just now going to add some shading in, and I'm going to use the HB2. And I'm just going to kind of go over, I'm not sure, yeah, I like that. And just kind of add a little bit with the pastels in here. And just kind of go with the flow of how our dress is moving and everything. And, uh, yeah, 
That looks really good. Okay, I'm going to start with the wings. Now, normally, if you've seen that, I've kind of gone from light and then added the dark. But for her wings, I want um, the dark to be going, and I'm just going to kind of do a flicking motion. And so we're going to kind of have the darker gray here. And just a little bit of this. I'm using IG3, by the way. And I'm just starting with the darker gray. And then now I'm going to pull some of that color out using IG2, which is the next shade down. And I'm just going over it and just pulling it ever so much, pulling it out with that. Okay? And I'm just, you know, kind of, so you really can't see a graduation there. And then I'm going to go with the lightest color, IG1. And again, I'm going to pull that color out. And then, so that it's just very, very light. All on the edges here. So I pulled all that so you can kind of see here where I've gone from the darker to the lighter and then to the final lightest shade all on there. Okay, so next I have her hair that I want to do. And again, working with the light pastels, I thought I'd make her a, um, a light blonde uh, with that. And so um, I'm going to use CT1, and I'm just going to kind of put in here, this is where I kind of think there might this the lightest part of her hair would be. And um, also kind of like right in here. And then maybe right down here. Again, again, I'm not a little here. An exact color here. I don't worry about all that. I did see a little part that I did mess up. So I thought I would go in real quick. I kind of forgot her little ear right here. So I'm just kind of going back in with FS2 and getting, getting her ear in there. So that will help me with the coloring. So then, with CT1, I'm going to go with the next darkest shade, and so I'm going, again, I'm going lightest to darkest here with CT3, and again, I'm just kind of going to pull and kind of flick into that uh, and do that, and kind of go down here, and I've got some over here, I'm just kind of flicking, you know, not as definite circle. But just kind of going in and starting and pulling up with that. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with the next darkest, which is CT4. And again, just kind of pulling that in. And getting the darkest in there. And again, just kind of like a flicking motion. It's probably like the darkest tuck behind her hair. And behind. Just flicking the color out. As you can see, once again, I'm not really being precise. Just where I think kind of needs a little bit. And then I'm going in with GB1, which just is a shade a little bit darker. And just adding just a little bit more darkness in here because it's too lemon yellow for me. I'm just adding a little bit of darkness back in there. Okay, so I have basically two things left, and the one is her eyebrows. And you can kind of hear the kids in the background there. They're playing on the Wii again. And generally, blondes have little darker eyelash, eyebrows. So I've got the little darker eyebrows there. 
And then I think she, with the blonde hair, she'll have blue eyes. And again, I'm using the lightest shade, TB1. And there, with all the pastels, this is definitely going to pop. Okay. With that. And then I like to add, um, with my uh, Signo, just a little bit of white on her eyes. Just like that, and that will dry. And then here she is.